Hi, I'm Lee Chantel from VivaLaVegan.net. Welcome to this channel. Every Tuesday we have a new vegan question and answer. And this week's one is, why isn't vegetarian enough? This is a really good question. Um, I think the best way to answer this would be to work out why someone's vegetarian in the first place. So for example, when I became vegetarian 18 years ago when I was at school, I didn't want to kill animals, especially just for my own sake. I thought that was horrible. Um, little did I know that the egg industries and the dairy industries kill animals as well. Part of the process, um, getting rid of animals and just using and abusing these animals over and over and again to create their products. I'm definitely, definitely against. So when I found out about these processes, I wanted nothing more to do with them and that's why I became vegan. So if, if you also are the same way and the reason you became vegetarian is because you don't want to kill animals, then I really think you should have a look at the egg and the dairy industries and the processes that are actually involved to get dairy and to get eggs. Have a look at some videos I've done in the past about what is wrong with dairy and what is wrong with eggs. And um, I think vegetarian is a great step. I always encourage people that are making any steps towards a more compassionate lifestyle that it's really good, but it's still just a step. I don't think people that become vegetarian and stop eating red meat and then eat a hell of a lot more chicken is, is any good at all. I don't think people that become vegetarian and eat a hell of a lot more dairy because they're not getting their protein anymore and they need excessive pro, um, protein from dairy, supposedly. That's an untruth. Um, that is not good. That's not a positive thing. But I definitely think for someone that's become vegetarian, this is a really great step. And I really encourage you to have a look at the processes of dairy and the processes of, of egg industries. And find out that there's so many alternatives that you can have rather than just relying on dairy, rather than relying on eggs. Um, you can have, you know, whole grains, so many different whole grains, fruits vegetables, nuts and seeds, and um, so many pulses and legumes like soy, tempeh, tofu, red kidney beans, chickpeas, so many things. Um, vegetarian is, is not enough. Veganism is also not enough. You have to lead by example. You have to do every single thing in your power to make your life compassionate. If you're, if you're um, a vegan and you're being judgmental of people, if you're being horrible to people, if you're upsetting people online even and in person, you know, you have to remember as well that humans are animals. And if you love animals as much as you say you do, then a bit of compassion is needed. Just, just remember that in life, in general, we all need to be a bit more compassionate and a bit more patient with each other. Everyone is on their own life path and the more judgmental and the more you carry on to someone, the less they're going to want to change. I know when I first became vegan, I thought, wow, this made me become vegan. If I just tell everyone about this, everyone else will become vegan. It's so easy, it's gonna happen. But obviously that doesn't happen. And I was really, really intense when I first became vegan. And I've toned it down a lot more now. And I like to lead by example as I feel that that's the best way to create vegans. I feel that's the best way to create a compassionate world. And I like to try to do my best to promote love, peace and compassion. And I feel for me that veganism is that. I'd also suggest that people look into other social justice issues and find out more about the world that we're living in, other people that inhabit the, the universe and other animals, other cultures. And I look forward to seeing your comments. I look forward to seeing you next week. Thank you.